look, Arisa obviously is really good on Nepal just in general. Uh, I agree. I think like, their dive was probably better, right? They looked decent on the Sigma type stuff uh, as well. Uh, th so this is like Toronto Defiant coming out on a reset and like almost like a direct counter here from Timeless. So they're going to have the, the Symmetra in play, fight on the point there with Rocket and then uh, Chopper just for that consistent damage. Yeah, it's uh, definitely an easy target to get your beam charged off of. That being the Arisa, if you are the Sim. Chopper taking a little bit of damage there. A little bit of a reposition. Oh, <laughs> Vega was so lucky to survive there. Unfortunately, opener not quite as lucky as Merit with a, a headshot onto the enemy Lucio player. Had to shrub shot doing a whole lot of work too. That taking damage. And uh, Rocket went one way, Icy went the other. And no protection for the Sim on the point. It's going to be quite a quick fight you'd imagine. Although Chopper's still clearing up here. An additional kill onto someone is going to be nice, but Toronto still controlled the point. A boop onto Merit to force them back. And I mean, this isn't over, although Toronto are very firmly yep. in control of the positioning. I think now that Sugar Freeze back, I think it's probably a little bit of just like a hold here for Timeless until, yeah, they get Icy back in the fight. She's back in. Sugar Freeze drags back down to Earth there. That Vortex just point flips. catching them. As the point does flip, yeah, you're not half wrong, Matt. Uh, Sugar Free finding a lot of purchase on the side here and a lot of free ultimate charge too, nearing that duplicate. Ah, oh, shit. I'm a little late. CJ just builds up I went this, to the bathroom, my bad. Uh, this Katsune rush so fast as uh, they're going to decide to use it. Probably feel like they're a little bit too weak on the point. Didn't want to allow Toronto to kind of like sit around and build up towards them. So they end up using that ultimate push on in. But Timeless has the point right now. I like quickly. it. I like Shopper it. Up with two. I mean, the rush on the point. I mean, there's no CJ. It's only oh, opening with the heels. Rush. There's 5% towards that ultimate too. That sound barrier couldn't come quick enough. But it's actually RuPaul, another champion. Ooh. Just making it, names and numbers in that kill feed. That was a really Ooh. nice rush. The tempo play for the Toronto Defy was so sick there. As soon as the CJ came, kill came through, someone stepped up on the bridge. They laid down the rush. They just quite literally ran over them like a four-ton tumbleweed. Yeah, and they were like down a player or two before that uh, push even came through. So I definitely think it caught Timeless off guard a little bit. Is Toronto four oh. ultimates in this fight? Gotta use that. Oh, oh nice TP. He's out already. Oh, the TP, but opening uses the sound barrier. I think they were all safe from that too. That's a beautiful trade from someone. Terror search for B. You take that any day of the week. Rocket already dead to merit on the. Do you like the standing Shopper desk? Yeah, I like it for watching team, stuff. I'm glad I'm not sitting all day. To utilize. Be honest with you, if I keep doing this, I feel like my. I feel a lot better. Easily. Well, there's the overclock, and there come the kills for Merits. Holy shit! Holy shit! Toronto Defiant, that should be all she wrote. 65 Alka percent of building. Alka Fula again with the massive five gifts. They're literally carrying the stream tonight. Defiant, like, sir, today. Absolutely well. massive W. Appreciate it. And a for this next fight. He really yeah, needs a standing. That's for his posture's sake. Like, uh, you know, My posture's fine. Tracer, I think uh, just the sim is really difficult to protect. Like you see the early Suzu there, and then you know even having to use the sound barrier to get everybody out with a TP. Where uh, the tracer you can play, you know, a little bit more uh, on your own on an island. You know, put some pressure on the back line. Also good against the echo, and just a bit safer. Yeah. I'd Definitely would agree with you. It does feel like Tracer's a must pick. What's more scary than one Sojourn? How about two? Oh, RuPaul is a little bit worse for wear, but Sugar Free still evens it up. There is a rush. Should be a surefire win for Timeless. Ideally, not losing anybody else and not using any more ults either. As Toronto Defiant do see themselves in OT. This rocket just Eyes, chases Timeless. Down the rest Come on. Of Rocket is a really good yeah, fucking tracer. I, I like this comp for Timeless. You know, obviously winning that fight, they end up using the rush. They'll have to go against a rush in the next one uh, with nothing to deal with it. But I think this puts a lot of pressure on the Sugar Free on the Echo, and that's going to force them to swap. I, I think this is a good decision for Toronto as well. Like, uh, you're kind of flying into that tracer on the Echo. You decided. Wait, just what the fuck? The, the cat is glitching or something on the gun. All right, trying to push out on the high ground. Just trying to get Icy in a position on the point is beneficial for them, but also beneficial for Icy in a weird way too, because he's got Annihilation. His point is definitely going to hurt, regardless of uh, which way it swings. This Annihilation could just be... a recall, though. 
the uh, round winner. No recall on Rocket 2 there as a uh, pulse oh, in hand by Icy already goes down. Nice stick from Rocket, but the annihilation was just nowhere to be found. Toronto to find just steamroll over timeless there. Clock's ticking now. I mean, you've got Rocket to touch, Matt, but that's about it. Oh, okay, narrowly didn't touch thanks to someone. He's going to get the retouch still. That's recall, but CJ's already dead. A slow bleed out now for timeless. Is uh, yeah, that sand dial firmly running out of sand and uh. Boom, oh my up. god, he so just punched the point and lost all his health. <laughs> Holy fuck. HP before he landed in there and got just, uh, just obliterated. Joker, appreciate that nice someone in months. He never got fight. any chance to use that Annihilation, Josh. Yeah, uh, it he was just died so fast. So, so, yeah, I mean, someone using the Spear Spin. Just... Wait. Did he... Yeah, that Spear Spin just push them away and then they couldn't use the annihilation yeah that was a uh, a little rough there from icy i mean you're thinking in that situation like okay this like this is last fight for sure maybe we can get 99 percent we pop the annihilation maybe i have a nemesis form and so i can kind of uh time those up so i'm even stronger going into these fights and more sustainable too because you can just kind of cross your arms through both um but yeah it didn't end up working out sanctum next uh map up next or next Wait, round. Wait, did my desk take... get smaller? There's a Toronto Defiant and Timeless both running out here with a uh, with a Sigma by the looks of it. Uh, Sigma's on both sides. Uh, okay, so I got to disconnect there for a brief second and I come back and now okay. everything's gone everything's <laughs> gone sideways. So, okay. Uh, then we have, uh, Sigma for both teams and then uh, Timeless decides to just run I this. I think just running the Tracer. Like, Sugar Free was so good in our series we had earlier. Uh, playing the echo i definitely think you need to counter that you cannot allow him to just kind of like rain free in the sky so i, I like the idea of consistently playing the tracer here okay so i raised my desk a little bit open uh open his chill he's chill like that he manages to get away mary taking a lot of damage good healing coming out from rupaul focusing the right target there mira was trying to cap the point should be able to as well rocket really doesn't really have any uh thing to say there did manage to blink onto the point to stop the cap going through same with opener now doing a good job of just holding on to this point for as long as possible but they are just getting focused out one by one front lines taking a beating as well as time to end up having to walk all the way back uh, to the mega health pack room as someone now pushes up world-class tank player indeed it's a uh, tough icy to stand tall against someone who's already got a flux coming online yeah, it also feels like a little bit when you play this, uh, when we saw someone on the Sigma earlier, we saw like Arisa comps go into it, and uh, oh. that's an early kill there with some just stickies uh, from Sugar Free, but like playing the mirror feels like it's like kind of what Toronto would want you to do, like play like the safest way possible where, you know, they kind of know uh, every way to kind of play against these types of compositions where like earlier we saw like mirror play like the the maga we saw you know the arisa right they really like made them think flux a little bit but all oh, dodges the rock out all good here's the rush on the high ground someone's now in a little bit of trouble heard that pulse will go and there it is hello goodbye dodge out of that one all good two traces now on the ball for trying to define the duplicate comes through for sugar free a free pulse bomb at hand that flux not finding too much though but sugar free at least finds one rocket somehow weaves his way into the back line and kills rupaul but they're losing this front line door and they have been since the start or what it feels like at least a nice no little kill from rocket Again, killing someone. Um, I mean, assassin Rocket right now, but his team just can't win this frontline duel. Yeah, they push them back with a Katsune rush and the, the Toronto Defiant, they back all the way up in the corner. And then what happens, RuPaul uses a rush of his own. They come right back around the corner. And they fight Timeless and Timeless is so deep at that point. There's nothing they can do. Flux available from Icy now. Rocket is a really good Still fucking tracer. He's really down. good. No I played against him a, a few times too. He's really fucking disgusting. It'd be important for him to hit this if this flux is anywhere near deadly. But Icy just gets run down. A nice rock from someone as he peeks through Icy Shield. And this is final fight. Icy once again, a complete fish out of water with no chance to use his tank at the end of a round. He's going to come back in just a moment, Matt. But Vegas still got the sound barrier and they need to perma touch too with Rocket dead who real touches now the sound barrier comes out i mean icy can rip it but it's not enough toronto defiant beat timeless back i mean icy is just struggling to get much done here matt timeless Ooh. they're gonna be playing the, the winston based composition here so uh, i i like this i think you look you can play like the arisa trying uh, it looks brighter on your side than it does on your ours 
Yeah, I really like dive, dive, dive. Very greedy backline like we saw on Hollywood I don't think so. earlier on, Matt. With Vega on the. I think I need to move it. But Sugar, Sugar Free took like two Winston right clicks and then the, yeah. the Sunjin finished him off. Easy kill for the uh, Sojin, uh, just for sure. Yeah, you don't want to take high ground. Get Vega and RuPaul looking straight at you. Yeah, ain't no way. You need some frontline presence. So Reich is there to provide. Still tough to already cap the point. They're taking a lot of spam damage here, but they can kind of jostle in the low ground because only someone can really peek his head over. So they've already got a tick here. Nice little dive too. Forces yeah, yeah, yeah. Screenshot my fucking Good my headphone drop. shit. Easily Suzu there by CJ, so Riker doesn't take any follow-up damage. And with someone dead, like there's no front line to fight. Who touches? It's really up to Sugar Free Merit to try and come up with kills. Is it good? Does find one, but where's the next? Sugar Free definitely cannot find it. Not with an angle like this. It looks like Merit wants to try and get out of dodge too. Ends up just dying on point. That's a good push from Tynus. They end up capping the point. Uh, and I really like the way they played that. Like a lot of times we've seen teams play this type of That's style with the Sigma where they kind of like you know, hold that position, let the supports do damage. You have the Tracer and the Echo that okay. can, you know, contest, get on the point, whatever. Uh, typically, sometimes we see the Winston jump up, go a little yeah. bit too deep, get picked, and then things fall apart. I think apart. it's too close that to the wall now. played it perfectly though, right? Riker would jump up, put down a shield, do some damage, go back down. <laughs> and Rocket is the one like underneath, like putting lots of pressure on the back line. Hope it's the Diva now as someone. They're still playing this uh, a little bit more of a greedy comp, but that is a nice Ooh. bit of movement there from someone pushing Riker towards the window as he was trying to jump back down. Too scared of the window, and you should be. Feel the Winston instantly blown up. And someone just uh, perma holding payload. And now this is rare. The Toronto Defiant comp really does shine. They can have someone perma hold this. Vegas on the high ground. If they do get jumped, they've got the lamp, they've got the transcendence to use too. And uh, now they just hunt for kills, or at least their DPS do. It's gonna be a dupe here. Sugar free. Uh, gonna gonna take the tracer. I believe he was quite low. As Riker in the back line, he's gonna get primal here. So Ooh. keep an eye if he decides to use that as such a good response. response. Takes out sugar free. Sugar free dashing away high in the sky. Tries to get away after the duplication did end up uh, getting killed. Sunjin only finding one kill might be good enough here as Riker tries to contend with the high ground and Merit peeking his little head out a little bit too soon by the looks of it. Gets it uh, torn at clean off. A primal rage and Vega surviving to the last possible second there before popping the transcendence. He's going to meet the rest of his team, but this payload's walking away from them. Yeah, I mean, that's a force on the transcendence, and you have Rush and Sound Barrier here to use if you're timeless, as I believe that was actually a pulse bomb that connected from Merit Suzu'd off. So just trying to basically cycle out players here on the point. Any other plans for the setup? Yeah, there's going to be a lot of different changes. Available too. There's the Sound Barrier hits all five a timeless up to strike in the skies. Well, you got to look at somebody. <laughs> I mean, Sunjin looking at Vega. Vega ends up taking him out. Come on, Timeless. Was, uh, Come on, Timeless. You guys are goats. I want to see this. To him. No one can really fight Sugar Free right now, who's really just the main damage dealer coming out from Toronto to fight. Now Merit is dead. Rocket does take down the Tracer, of course, here with high ground control, almost permanently in favor of Sugar Free. It's hard for Timers to do much on the ground when Sugar Free can just farm them for damage. Oh, I mean, that is such a massive fight for the Defiant to win. Double support ult on the other side. And just nobody to deal with his sugar free. Uh, he gets a kill early. On and I want them to cap this, bro. No Bash. answer. And the high ground just controlled by Toronto Defiant during that last fight. Is Lucio more pressure? He, he just gets it anybody up. just to get out. <laughs> yeah, 50 to 60 percent. Okay, free sound barrier coming in. He's trying so hard to get beaten. He's trying. He's trying to get up there. Lucio mechanics. All good. There's the boot. There's the beat. Oh, he's not going to be able to use oh, it anyway. Doesn't get it up. Nah, all good. Two minutes to go though. Nice ultimate force though by Timus. Now they try and make their insertion into this fight. And <laughs> insertion they do. Surgically precise. Merit and Vega instantly dead. RuPaul all on his lonesome. Chased down by Rocket. A double kill for the Tracer and someone with no self destruct. And that is point B. A much closer affair now for Timeless. Very much warmed up. It, it, it feels like the DPS from Timeless are coming alive, right? Oh, it feels yeah. like Rocket, you know, every single fight picking up a kill. That time, Slender Naval will find one as well. It's now over three minutes. Uh, although, uh, in the last series, we saw LFO versus Defiant. Uh, I know the last series we saw Defiant play. Uh, you know, LFO could have actually taken that second checkpoint. So, uh, defense here. 
for Defiant on Hollywood seems to be uh, seems to be something they, they may uh, have a little bit of a hole in that you can actually, you know, complete the map have a chance to is someone will go over to Winston. So we're going to almost get him here outside of this Echo still. Uh oh, time to run. Sunjin's got the railgun. Merit trying to dodge out the way, although trying to take it to Sunjin somewhat, but it is Rocket just demolishing Toronto Defiant right now. Rocket, Rocket minutes, is fucking gone. good, Hold dude. Up. I mean, whatever he drank in the break, Matt, I don't know if it was like a, a quadruple espresso or something, but time is locked in. Jack, are you also locked into this like damage dealing comp if you're the Defiant? Because you know, if you were gonna play Sojourn Tracer, you'd probably have Sugar Free on the Tracer and then Merit play the, the Sojourn, right? I mean, Merit's such like an insane hit scan player where uh, Sugar Free feels like he plays a little bit more of like the Echo Genji, you know, Tracer types of roles. Because I just wanna have Perma. Oh, what? what? Wait, where'd that pulse go? Hit the bubble, then drop, then attach to someone by the Nah, and you guys make fun of my pulse bombs? Nah. That damage. Looks like Toronto of Giant's just gonna fall flat here on this defense. A minute and 40 seconds to go, and someone with a hope and a prayer and a dream and a primal, but it didn't work. Well, Riker, don't worry about using your ult this time, buddy, because you end up getting the cap. One minute and 34 seconds for Timeless. Finishing with over a minute. Ah, Toronto Defiant looking a little lost there by the end of it. A little bit of a snowball. Didn't even feel like I, I want, the I'm rooting for the underdog, bro. Uh, Listen, I'm rooting for the underdog. Toronto, uh, the, uh, Toronto, Toronto Defiant, 79, Timeless, uh, no, 21. I want Timeless to win, bro. I want Timeless to win. But uh, coming in here, playing the Winston, playing that pretty much throughout the entire map. Uh, I'm curious how Toronto now answers on offense, right? Uh, do you play a Winston-based composition of your own? Do you continue to play like Echo? Do you try and match with like Sojourn Tracer? I think a lot of different uh, kind of questions here to answer potentially for the Defiant. At least obviously extremely early, just uh, spawn opened up. Uh, it looks like, you know, if someone's going to play the Winston, you're going to see- Listen, you know, chat, play I actually. have friends on the Toronto Defiant. Uh, with Someone, a, RuPaul, Rico Sugar Break. Free. Uh, uh, I gotta, I gotta, uh, I'm rooting here. for a good a game, bro. I like right? to see Defense upsets. And then I want Break Timeless to, to fucking and, uh, shock the world, bro. The dive comes in. Totally. Uh, and then I want to shock the world, like bro. They're still kind of going to hover around this Echo. I, yeah, I really like this Brig and uh, the Diva. But you do need Lucio, but you're so confined in this uh, in this point, and you're probably going to be playing Cafe at least somewhat, especially with the Sojourn. Um, oh no, Open It did end up switching. Okay, switch to Lucio in the end. But I still really like the Diva. Diva's access to high ground is uh, a little bit better than Winston's. Obviously, you can kind of use the Jets, but it looks like Toronto Defiant also switching up. They see the Diva out of spawn, yeah. switch from Winston to Zarya, and now Riker's going to be in a little bit of trouble here. Definitely attacker's advantage in that sense. Yeah, they want to punish that Diva, right? Like, uh, Riker is not going to be able to kind of like stand here in these positions <laughs> against that Zarya. Uh, it's going to be a little bit tougher to to get the Zarya in position. Uh, but, you know, you see how fast. Oh, he, we used the bubble Diva. and I didn't get any charge. Yeah, Riker trying to push onto the back line there, but it, it, it's really tough. I mean, you're also dealing with. Chronically, push him out 47 so months. How you doing, my dude? Uh, the Diva, and then you have to deal with the bubbles. Someone not being too greedy either would much rather use the bubbles uh, to help the team. Does see a wave of incoming damage. And so at least gets a little bit of uh, ult charge along with that energy. Someone in trouble. Oh, uh, apparently not. Apparently is over. That was in trouble. Nice little lamp there saving someone who didn't have bubbles, but he should have one back up yet again. I want to go to bed, but I want to watch this. Uh, this is uh, this is the last this game. Is like is also Not last out. map, but this is the last game game. That uh, the broadcast uh, is over after this. Matt, but it's been so hard to stop but that helps your decision. Getting away with murder almost. Nice pulse bomb onto Merit. And this Riker once again trying to get into the back line and cause Mer uh, RuPaul some hell, but uh, completely unaffected as someone is there for backup. Same with Sugar Free, you can just run oh. it down the Diva after that Matrix has been expunged. Nice little lamp too, matching the rush on the point. But with someone just kind of existing in the front line, this is looking almost impossible. Only Rocket can do it. No, LG versus M80 match. is tomorrow. But still somewhat just alive and well. Uh yeah, but I mean, you still have Rocket on the point here to contest. This is going to actually be Sound Barrier comes out from Vega in the defense.
Defiant as uh, they feel they absolutely need to win this fight. Oh, and, still so dies. and they actually get How does Rocket well. get away with that? Okay, finally he ends up going down, but someone got focused yeah. out completely. Oh, the point ends up getting flipped. Oh, oh Sunjun thought they could make a hero play, but no, it was a hero's I downfall. I want to be a hero! And, and I feel like now for Timeless, you probably just swap Winston, right? Like, I don't think you want to consistently play this D.Va into the Zarya. Uh, although, although possibly, uh, could be wrong. Maybe what? Get self Who won use, Toronto like, or LFO? I was control. eating I out. Mean, if you push the Zarya off repeatedly, Ooh. like, that's the aim of the game there, is just have opener. Toronto or won. I could just perma push the Zarya off the high ground, like, literally boop her, and then they just kind of waste a lot of time. But, yeah, with an overclock of them just kind of marching over the bridge, a little bit more. Uh, a little bit more difficult. Opener, you really messing with the best? Yeah, die like the rest, son. Three minutes and 30 seconds yeah, to go. Anyway. No Lucio, no Frank hope. going to get staggered out here, too. Yeah, that's a little stagger. Not the... Not the worst stagger in the world, but you'll take it. A couple of extra seconds. And Dude, Toronto Defiance actually rolling around gonna be right now. He's a, they're just rolling there. timeless. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, they, they're still on the D.Va, so still going to commit to the D.Va coming out of the spot now. I mean, Defense Matrix maybe trying to, like, you know, can you, can you eat a grab that comes through, right? You still have Sound Barrier for it, right? But probably a little bit more just to try and continue to try and fight for this high ground. Is Someone, uh, thankfully, for Timeless, doesn't have any charge, right? Uh, has not been able to build up anything. Yeah, they're definitely thanking themselves of that. I mean... Ideally, like I mentioned before, once you use those bubbles defensively, so no energy for the Zara for the majority of the fights. Graviton Surge is going to be hard to get around Riker, but you only need to catch one. Lucio would be nice, Sojourn too. Graviton Surge. Oh, now. he go? hit no that one. Looks like it went out into the back line. Sound barrier comes in. But Vega! Oh, that was an AJ again. I believe a second one off today. Another Ajax, bro. And uh, unfortunately getting taken out by a rail gun. Another Ajax, dude. Ended up missing the lift there, but with two minutes and 10 seconds to go and without a sound barrier, a little bit worse for wear. Hey, look, that timeless finishes with a minute and 34 in the time bank. Like, any way you drag this out here for Timeless it is a huge dub, right? Oh, you know, right there, it was like 2.30 when that fight kicked off. You know, kind of an hour down below two minutes. Like, it, obviously, you're trying to win at least another fight here, and then you feel great about your chances on this map. I like how uh, fast Eva flies in the uh, rush. It looks so it looks so ridiculous. Same with how, how far she flies, too, mind you. And yeah, like you said, just eking out every single possible second. Just getting Toronto to find in, into an OT position as they near third, if they even get second, to be fair. There we go. Onto the high ground. Nice little rotation. Here's the double here on the uh, on the Kiriko, but didn't end up finding the kill. Still trying to click some heads, but this rush on the point. What the fuck was that? Did you guys see that? Heads are coming up with two. What? Okay, he gets two kills. He just slid into four people. They end up capping the point in the end, but I mean. Uh, the cojones on that man. <laughs> Crazy play. Oh my god. Yeah, just uh, use the Did he just the say the just balls on that man? Uh, use the railgun as a as a shotgun, pretty much. Yeah. And now uh, Riker over to Winston. So I, I like this call. Uh, I think, you know, you, you're kind of stuck on the diva for a while there. You got some value out of it uh, at the end. The, the, the balls on that guy. He, 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 just got, he just got fined, like, chat. He, he just got fined 10,000. Yeah. So I think coming in here for the Winston, this should actually give them a little bit of a compositional advantage. But easy access to the back line as well. Oh, the Winston just get bullied though, Matt. Yeah, Riker has to retreat. It's a big problem there when the enemy tracer is also playing defense as Sugar Free's kind of hanging around his back line. Oh, Rocky does force the recall on Sugar Free. Does he want to go for it? No, he doesn't. Not with the. Appreciate it, Angel. That's overclock being ripped from Merritt's. Damn, so he hit no one with that. There and almost taken back to spawn. It's open to the first to fall in this fight, but that bubble is good from Riker. Stops that healing coming through onto someone. But they still got a touch, mind you. Surely they don't see nine. No, one meter and 38 to go, but Sugar Free still coming out with big kills. Sunjun is super low, too. No don't see nine, don't see nine. The passive almost there. And now it's Sugar Free's chance to take over the game. No tank, no problem. Someone's going to be able to come back, but the rush from RuPaul might just end it all. Sugar Free with another kill. He'll make that almost five. A minute 
to go for Toronto to fight, but they still good. net the payload. That was a good, like, 20 seconds like, stall at the end. Just speeding map by 30 seconds there. But even with someone going down with the, with close to a crab mat, they still managed to make it work with the Rupal rush. Yeah, I mean, Riker was so loyal. They end up uh, losing him. He kind of pushes forward to maybe throw down a bubble there in, like, the choke point. Uh, you know, deny maybe some healing or some damage coming on through there and ends up actually falling. And that's when the payload's, like, basically across the line. And once you lose that tank, someone coming back off the respawn, uh, you're in a pretty good spot to get a map completion there if you're the Defiant. So, uh, what? Was still I put 250k uh, you know, on you fucks. You better not uh, I was lose. Ask you, do you think they play the diva? I, see, I think you come out on the diva. This is gonna quickly have. I feel like someone uh, potentially just go back to spawn and play that Zarya here. But yeah, I mean, that that makes the most sense to me. I think. I mean, timeless. It's kind of like gambling in a way where you're just like, okay, I'm gonna gamble playing the diva here, or maybe I just go to the Winston instead. But then. You just lose. The house always wins in this case, and the house being Toronto Defiant, where you're like, you just peek your head out the small doors. Okay, we insta switch, and then we're gonna play the Zarya, or we're gonna play Diva or Winston, or whatever we we so choose. I mean, timeless still with a better time bank here, Matt. Toronto have to make the make something work in one minute and four seconds. We'll see if they do want to insta switch. I can imagine you're right though. Probably a quick switch to Zarya as soon as they see. Yeah, instantly someone swaps back straight to Zarya. Boom. Yeah, I mean, this is kind of the advantage of, obviously, you know, uh, seeing the defender comp and then, you know, the defenders have to just kind of choose, like, okay, like, what is potentially the safest? Like, what what, what can we run here? Uh, but Timeless did put up a really good fight on defense, even playing this D.Va against Azaria. So it'll be Toronto trying to take this high ground. Someone just going to use uh, uses both of his bubbles here. The other one coming back off the cooldown here in a second. What's up, Indy? Yeah, I like that. Disrupt shot comes out, just quickly so cool the damage. Yeah, a nice little bit of old charge. Well, Sunjun knows there's someone potentially on the flank here. As we can see on the x-ray, there's no one there just... I hope, I hope time has holds. A little bit of trouble. Insecurity taking a lot of damage as Sunjun ends up swapping sides with Toronto to fight. Now he's on the high ground and uh, Toronto have control of Cafe by the looks of it. Open it going extremely deep. Someone lobbing the right clicks through. No ticks can be afforded here by time. This RuPaul is a good start. A good kill from CJ as oh. someone gets isolated. And that should just be the defense right there and then. One minute and four seconds, not enough. Toronto to fight oh. fairly slow on the rotations, but you have to be with the Zarya comp, but they don't get anything, Matt. Timeless in a very good position. Who do you want to win? I think Timeless are, Timeless are the underdogs. I want the underdogs to win. Round number seven before, Everyone so, uh, thinks Toronto Defiant is the strongest round. team, the team so that's going to win. I want an upset. I want a Timeless. Team. Yeah, and I don't know if you uh, caught it, but like Baptista, RuPaul playing inside a server room gets pushed by Rocket and has to use like the immortality field right. straight away, which is getting pestered. Plus, how can I not and cheer for someone that's not, that's not that's not called that CJ? Like, oh, Those are my know, initials. All committed on CJ. That Baptiste out. Well, uh, huge with, to be yeah, able to kind of uh, keep that Zarya My middle name, alive. James. Right after CJ. That, who's the next target? Open her and Rocket right in someone's face. Take out that Zarya. So and plus he has J in his name. From Timeless there on defense. Now just need one tick on offense. Not a ton of time to do it still. Yeah, one minute and 34 seconds. Still enough for like one and a half attempts, depending on how quick you go, of course. It looks like Toronto to fight. They just want to go to the Arissa. And I think Arissa, Matt, is more of the safe play um, in this kind of situation. Wait, well, nice little dance party to start off the uh, <laughs> start off the map or start off this round. But I think Arissa in general is the, is the safer bet because if you are going to the Diva, they pick Zarya. If you go to the Winston, they can pick Diva. So there's a lot of uh, a lot of factors you can kind of eliminate just playing the Arissa. We'll see if Timers want to end up swapping out here or if they just run with the monkey. Yeah, what you know, Arisa or Sigma? Probably. Okay, chat, stop doxing me, please. Thank you. Probably like just kind of like the best, uh, you know, overall kind of like, you know, you have a, you can't really get hard countered, so to speak. Uh, type of tanks is uh, Riker will play the Winston here. He's already through the choke. Is oh, nice. They want to take control of Cafe. Is uh, he, Toronto doesn't even play for it. Yeah, they end up uh, kind of getting out rotated there a little bit, but Riker does end up. Uh, dropping back down let's have a listen to timeless comms though 60 seconds oh to go. we're listening to the comms chat oh, 
I'm living. We, we, we need to live. Live, 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 live. Where's the gold? Where's the gold? Oh, I might die. I might die. Live, Sanjay. I need to live. I can't. I can't. Yeah, yeah. I'm good. I'm good. Hello. I'm going to live. Three, two, one. I've killed 25. Killed 25. Okay. Chill, 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 Bro, these fights are insane, especially last fight fights. Live up in there, live up in there. Rest of one, bubble here. Three, two, let's go, let's go, let's go. I fucking love their comms, bro. That was so intense, but you guys, that's. This is I what mean, we hear for the last 30 was, seconds chat of the match. Really match. Really but that's how they are for the whole nice. game. It's like so fucking hype. Okay, I want Timeless. Sure. Come on, Timeless. Uh, this just, I, I, I don't know, man. Timeless, timeless is a fucking goat way. team, bro. Just different, uh, different comp. No dive, just a Rissa. Riker and Sunjun still in. Trying to find the other hand, Doomfist. All right, see so if someone uh, played Doomfist a little bit earlier on. So against the same kind of composition as well, Matt. Uh, worth keeping in mind. Really like the Doom on Esperanza. Yeah, but when we saw them play the Doom against the Arisa, I believe that was, uh, you, you know, when LFO was actually getting things going. Yeah. Uh, so I think someone in uh, Toronto just needs to be really careful how they're going to play around this as someone goes in, goes right out. Ooh, they get, they get sugar free really well. Yeah, someone too. Everybody's kind of hurting right now. They're move with the bot here for a little bit though. Yeah, they can juggle on this corner. Pretty easy to do so as you can hide behind that small wall, but it's hard when Riker can just insta spear you into that uh, small little alcove. And you can't like perma hold the bot either from uh, the bridge. Oh! Sunjin just way too far up. Not taking cover beneath that archway. As Riker just, what the uh, hell? That was close. Riker almost ends up going what down his vehicle just in time. Good little spear onto Sugar Free. And now they shall fall. Yeah, I think Sunjin had like a dash like queued up and was actually trying to go back towards like the choke. May have just like gotten like hit by a plant, but they Rocket's do not know what's still there. He, he, he had gotten one. They are very confused at where CJ is. I think CJ, yeah. that was really strange. I think CJ hit Swift Step and it didn't play the audio cue of when he landed. Is there any the other Overwatch League teams that made it to the OWCS? Probably. I I yes. The Do I right, know? But, uh, no, because I. Um, oh yeah, no, there's no, there's no Overwatch League team that bought that that has a team like Toronto Defiant. There's no other Overwatch org, I think. That pulse bomb healed them. Almost back to full HP, mind you, as well. But now Merit has got another pulse bomb to deliver. First class on top of Riker by the looks of it, but doesn't even need it. Ends up just chasing him down with a sound barrier in their favor. Later B always, almost always wins, and Vega proving it right there and then. Yeah, I mean, you see how vulnerable the Arisa is once you get that armor off. There's a few times there they're able to get Riker from basically dead all the way back topped up, but just have to use so many of their resources to do it. And then Toronto has a Katsune rush into winning it in the end. So uh, pulse bombs for both sides here. And then uh, Sunjin also with that overclock. I think that'll be massive. Terror Surge available from Riker too. Nice little spear. Yeah, you've got to know he had uh, the Meteor Strike with that one. Overclock used. Can they actually find any kills? Doesn't quite land the second shot on Sugar Free as he does a uh, fly away. But it's been stolen though. He's gonna lose his charge. The worst trade in Ultimus, but Rocket not finding much with that pulse bomb is rather unfortunate as they back to the mid fight. Insanity, push man's a 14 months in subject. I'm pretty sure prime, my friend. You know, 24 meters and where the bot is, it's really one fight. Uh, in this type of scenario, just a fight that they're taking, like, they're just so split around this pillar, and it's kind of where they're forced to fight, but that's a huge pick. Massive pick. I heard that spear from a mile away land on someone. It's a little stun indicator as well. It's as good as dead for that. Ideally, get a clean wipe here. Oh, Poxmon thrown out at Sonjin's feet, but just walks right past it. 
They're still managing to juggle the bot here. Merit going pretty low, no recall. Someone should be back in just a moment's notice, but with Merit dying, that's a late kill. Riker does end up falling as that rush was pulled on top of that high ground. And Sugar Free making good use of that, speeding on forward and chasing open, almost matching the speed against the Lucio. Hard to do, but with the rush and the echo shift, it, was, it looked pretty easy for Sugar Free there. They managed to recontrol that bot. Even losing someone at the very start of that fight. It's uh, a close game. Didn't really face them whatsoever. Knew how to juggle, well, and uh, they managed to push timers off. Yeah, they get a few kills here, Timeless, and then they actually what? kind of like back out. Is that, that's another huge. Yeah, you gotta game. be careful, so Nova, bro. Start. Come on, man. Uh, they decide to actually like lifting, lifting at the gym, or lifting something randomly. <laughs> the bot and then that's when they end up having players fall right trying to push up there towards the high ground and then toronto can get back at full strength sugar free backing off i don't think they're gonna be able to get pulse well i mean four percent you will but you can't use it now they're back to the mid again they just need another big kill but here comes the sand barris on jin saving that dash to try and get away power sliding out of the line of sight is sugar free but still trying to find some heads just everybody from Toronto is just surrounding them right now. And Timus can't pick a direction to all look at at once. The boy's still pushing the uh, the uh, the barrier here, Matt. But Toronto have this high ground. They can descend when they choose to. And they're going to refuse to give up that lead, at least for the time being, as Sugar Free tries to find a dive bomb target in the back line. And I nice. the ball. opener bites the dust. Someone, oh man, just diving in. There's no chance, especially without your Orissa right next to you there. It's really tough to dislodge the Yo, this is a really fucking close game, dude. 45 meters to 45 yeah, meters. Kind of this is insanely that close. That's also probably why in the fight previously you saw them try and, and remember, uh, Toronto uh, Defiant uh, is like a, a, an Overwatch so League fucking team. Toronto you just have Timeless, which was probably like a tier two box. tier. Like I think they were a tier two team, a uh, call, uh, just, uh, contenders team. They're 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 on equal footing with an Overwatch League team, bro. This is why I like OW. CS. Any team can fucking play in this and 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 do well. Take the checkpoint here. They might have to go for a small reset up onto the high ground. Looks like it. Oh, rocket. Sure oh yeah. Well, I mean, well, Maybe from that you, you get what I mean. To see a lot of sticky bombs on his body, so that's one a dead tracer, <laughs> one dead soldier. Like, uh, well. Timeless backline is fucking crazy, but like for the Rocket, pulse bomb in hand for Merit, just peering over Riker, the and then uh, Sion, Sionjun. Going for a reload and uh, Toronto. Oh, yeah, was Sion, I don't know who Sionjun is actually. I think R Rocket yeah, and like Riker have not been able to punish someone as much as they would have liked, right? I think you know, when he goes in, you have. To oh. really make him pay and you have to do it fast otherwise pre player oh uh, yeah i don't i don't know too much overwatch league or who was on overwatch league oh, patience is a virtue and merit's got a ton of it that suzu was nicely timed to stop with that damage coming in but merit just waited it out hit the pulse and of course he lands the stick easy as you like 95 meters now and counting love the work you're doing j3 keep it up hey appreciate it my friend the Arisa form there from Sugar Free as they get the bot moving almost to that final corner. And this is brutal for Timeless. I mean, what do you do? You have to invest into this sound barrier in the other end. Punch there at the start there from someone. He gets quite low. That that's how you have to have these fights. Ooh. He's not gonna happen every single time, right? But I mean, you're going to have to punish someone. Like if he's gonna get in with a slam and or a okay, punch chat. and then live. I wonder what uh, it looks like if I have the, my light off. It's just going to be enough damage that ah. Sugar Free and Merit are so good they're going to clean up the rest of the crew. Uh, that is a huge hey, fight. I'm putting my desk down. I want to sit for a little bit. Use anything to do it. Uh, now they have five ultimates. Uh, really, you're looking at five ultimates to win two fights. That's oh, kind of what you're looking at here. Uh, that is massive. <laughs> God, he wasn't around the corner. Oh, the second. Yeah, I think he was stunned. <laughs> he had to have been stunned. Uh, there was the Orisa. Uh, kind of like assist there, and it looked like just kind of like push back into the wall in that hallway. That's it, Suzu. On someone. Ready to rock the beat, though. There's the checkpoint. Oh, right down from the high ground. Hello, someone. All good, though. Power up punch available, but someone does use it to punch away from. Maryland's yet another sticky, this time on opener. The rushes for both teams have been used here. A little bit more beneficial for Timeless as he has standing right on top of it as it's just covering the bot pretty much. But Riker can't use the speed to get away. Not with how fast Toronto Defiance comp does end up move. Uh, does end up moving as uh, Sugar Free cleans up the rest. One minute and 30 seconds to go, Matt, but still just a ginormous lead from Toronto. Almost double their meterage.
Yeah, the br the brutal death there is losing opener, right? He's got sound barrier that would have been enough to probably, you know, put them over the line, right? Uh, I know you had the uh, double rush going there. You had lots of other ultimates. Uh, now Timeless with a, a little, little bit like a huge change of pace in terms of what they want to do, right? Zarya with Cassidy. It's actually going to say maybe earlier, like the Cassidy would have like paid off and like some of these more like medium fights as this is not really super long range. Uh, Look at the you're gonna need the Zarya though to protect in a big way. Yeah, exactly that. I mean, Mary's definitely got a pulse bomb for him, that's for sure. Although not anymore. Rocket says hello. It's a little blink smack melee kill there on Merit. All right, just go for dying on the payload. That is all you need. Charge out, start on the payload. You've got one more fight here for Toronto to find at least. Timeless of about, I don't know, 17 more. Uh, it's rough. 50 meters and more to go, Matt. It's uh, There is still in a decent spot with the post bomb and the beat, but the dupe could go nasty. I mean, you got Pulse Bomb, you're going to have Deadeye, double support ultimate. Uh, you got some stuff to work with here if you're timeless. Uh, I think if you're Toronto, you're probably looking at someone going in doing big damage and then forcing out some of these ultimates. They're going to speed boost this around. I like this. Try and see if they can find one. Just buy some space. Okay, chat, last fight. Who do you think is going to win? She fast approaches. Sugar free. There's the dupe on the Zarya. That's a whole lot of protection, a whole lot of free charge too, but they're responding kind with a rush. This duplication can't last longer than this. I'm not sure they're going to be able to kill it, though. That Graviton Surge is almost Oh, free. he no, had a grab, too. A too deep, Damn, he had a fucking grab. OT around the corner. That meterage closing in on them. A charge shot punch does end up missing. A bubble onto Sunjin to keep him alive. With a pulse bomb from Merit. It's been good thus far. Can it continue? It does, but open it. Damn, he missed that pulse bomb. Beat. And a kill on to show a kill nice. sugar free and onto Vega is gonna be good for timeless. Very much still in this fight. Just someone takes the skies with this meteor strike, but RuPaul oh! kept taking the rocket oh! and just takes the crown no! right on top of his head. Oh, no! As Toronto no! to fight, shut them out as they take map number three. I speak uh Kiwi, New Zealand. Uh, if you have to if you if you have to say I speak and then go uh oh, for like 30 <laughs> have seconds you heard yourself you don't speak anything else. No 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 I cannot be taking this from you Where, where's Mitch and he's cool Yeah but I'm not here like oh yeah I speak you know French <laughs> on the side like I I, I <laughs> You barely speak English We both barely speak English Matt but it's working out. Yeah. Here now. This is but important. combined, we do. Exactly. Two halves make one, and then exactly one whole human. Mm -hmm. That's good stuff. Speaking of one whole human, I don't know where I'm going with that. I see playing the Sigma, uh, uh, playing the Orisa versus someone Sigma. So yeah, looks like Toronto. I want to say this a little bit more slowly. We're seeing. Don't mind Sig at all on this map, Matt. I really don't. This point is a little bit awkward, uh, especially when you lose your tracer that early on to Rocket. Capping that point as the Sigma team, you need that first so you can hold forward. But losing your tracer, you lose all that point presence, and that's an instant reset. What I love about the way that Rocket is like playing as well is like, you know, sometimes when uh, you're an up and coming player going up against like a team of all wait, you know, known players, wait, I didn't, the game, right? I was watching the game, like, bro. I didn't, there's no fear. sub notification. Like, wait a minute, no, no, you know, you know, the word. <laughs> Addy, 34 yeah. months, I appreciate it. And Bra yeah, Lee, you know, I appreciate the massive 50 the gifted okay, subs well, to steal him. first place. <laughs> Absolutely fucking all. insane. Where I appreciate like, I have you know notifications turn off because we're watching matches, chat. I feel so confident that he's going to be able to come out on top. Absolutely like he's, he's fucking games, massive. Right? I appreciate it. I appreciate it. Yeah, now you, you like froze my Twitch. My, my Twitch is frozen now. It was kind of contending with him right now. And this is what the traces are going to be doing. At least for the majority of this. But forcing the recall too. Rocket doesn't want to. Oh, hey, man. I watched your story on YouTube, man. I get you. Love you, dude. You always make good content. Help my six month level three shows my gratitude for the content. Any ring? Hey, hey, I appreciate it, my friend. I appreciate it. I appreciate it. I hope your dad's okay. My dad, uh, he's getting over a broken foot right now. I appreciate it. I appreciate it. Yeah, but still, so you get to 95% here for Timeless. Like, really good opening star. They're forced to use some ultimates. You come back now. Uh, what flashpoint you get two three fights right absolutely uh, crazy i appreciate it back. like you, i'm you still surprised you, you people still watch the story of j3 at least one more maybe after but rocket takes some shots from a, i think that's like a You're pretty gonna, like a two two, two year old, old video or something two three years using the kitsune rush oh, oh what a snipe onto merit oh, not, really having the, saw him. not having the best of rounds so far 
Timeless with the flip. There's the flux. There's the sandbar from both sides as well. Where's it going to land? So Absolutely crazy, though. I appreciate my friend. Toasty, appreciate my friend. Four months. Big W, man. Big W. I mean, this is Timeless taking this... Uh, Taking this point for sure. 63 to 99. So onto the fire just falling over. Rocket and Icy to be fair too. Just having such a good opening to this. Nice, timeless, nice. Timeless yeah, needs to win this. If they don't win this chat, they lose. Well. So uh, we'll see the next point pop up uh, on board of the rocket of kind of like how that what the route is they want to take it. So uh, what they're gonna Toronto divide and probably like you know speed in maybe try and take some of this uh, you know high ground fight another point you do have uh, you know the terror search here for icy uh, see so like use if they don't die here they'll live like, offensively or defensively. Fuck you I think right now you're trying Fuck like, maybe, you, like chat. If they use the rush you use it while in the rush it like gets a suzu out does some damage like then you probably are looking for follow up from the rest of the team. There's Flashpoint unlocking. I see. Playing doorkeeper right now, but doesn't want any of that. Is the Russia? Oh. Look what you guys did! Oh my god, I thought I killed somebody then. Merit Pancake in that one on the floor, and I see a little bit uh, vulnerable to the damage, the stickies, the beams, everything that Sugar Free's got to throw at him. There's the cap for Toronto to find now. Oh, good stickies, God. Sugar Free's tracking sometimes is just uh, a thing to behold. Rocket is still just kind of Rocket's demolishing. Still here. <laughs> How is he still here? He's got a recall advantage for Merit here. It's just a 1v2. Merit does end up winning that one out with the help of Vega. Damn, bro. Man, Rocket's nuts. That's so cringe, dude. You should have let him do a 1v1 on the point. <laughs> I can't believe Vega came back. The honorable 1v1. So, no, I mean, just so crazy that he's even able to live uh, so long. Picks up two, uh, then like makes it like a 1v2 on the point, but... Uh, not able to come out on top, but here, here's an opportunity, right? Overclock. Uh, although, I mean, look at how much percentage Toronto's already earned here, Jack. 60%. I mean, you win this fight. It, it's probably... This point's done. Yeah, with the CG already dead, they're in big trouble at Timeless. Nice sound barrier, trying to keep Icy in the fight, and on the point two to contest. Duplication for Sugar Free was just too much, though. Too much pressure. Pressure makes diamonds, but it is uh, all Toronto that are glistening right now. Is uh, Timeless going to have to back off and reset, Matt? This is... Uh, a point for Toronto. Yeah, this is you. You just got to give this up. 1-1, 1-1, 1-1. Shot of fighting that one there towards the end. So starts off with uh, Sugar Free doing some damage from the high ground, dropping down, using a duplicate, getting a pick on the tracer, and then things really just kind of fall apart. So I see Toronto won that fight Sigma. and that point, uh, and they like, still have three ults. Like That's crazy. Having, like keeping uh, him alive was like a, a difficult thing, but he was just taking so much damage there. Uh, in a lot of those fights, it was difficult to get into position to really make an impact. So Sigma, a little bit more sturdy, can kind of do, uh, you know, control the high ground, put some damage down at range, and also... Yo, I'm turning 20 today. Can I get a rubber duck for a present from you? <laughs> Daniel, pretty much of 100 bits. Well. The rubber duck's down there. The, uh, Sigma using that accretion. Although well, you can do the same thing with the spear, to be fair, but the poke battle. <laughs> Rockets. Nice opening kill onto Vega. I mean, someone doesn't have anything uh, in this fight, really. And they're going to make sure he knows it, too. A full chase out. And then you get another one. Yeah, it doesn't like RuPaul even attempt to try and swift step there. Just wanted to go for a reset. A rocket just on fire currently. <laughs> I mean, yeah. It's just kind of silly. Like, uh, you could just see from his POV that, like, some players, like, they make it look easy at times. Like, he is just... You know, in some of these fights, like making it look so easy as uh, comes up with a big stick there onto Vega. Vega had a sound barrier there at the opening, and Toronto obviously probably knew they had a little bit of a sound barrier advantage, probably could have even used it early on. So that pick was massive. Post bomb. Oh, Merritt is trying to jiggle peek there away from that railgun. The opener already finds the, the straight <laughs> kill onto Sugar Free. Must have been a railgun or something. Suzu, oh, yeah. oh no Suzu, because he saw him use Suzu, but he had there, teleport. To the if he got the Sojourn, the Sojourn want to die, but. Rock on the high ground. So in a little bit of trouble. He's going to get healed up as uh, opener jumps in the way. Oh, Hugo's having a ball as well. I mean, there's just no way Rocket doesn't get this He usually gets excited for Dragon Blades, but I mean... He's getting know, excited. <laughs> I love the dark so dog alive. barking. You yeah. step in Rocket's domain, I mean, you are going to get slaughtered. Another point to Timeless. <laughs> They're on... Uh, the, we're about to Yo, Timeless! Five, if they can take this next one.
Uh, yeah. And, oh and my God, T chat! And if and Timeless wins Pulse this fucking CJ, game, uh, I'm gonna clap Zizu without my hands. Uh, able to kind of uh, deny the Pulse Bomb from going off, mm -hmm. and now Timeless they set themselves up perfectly here, mm -hmm. Jack. Right? Uh, you win these first fights in a flashpoint, you can get like 50% like right away, and they have just about everything to work with to win this fight. Duplication could be the tool that they need. There's a dupe on the tracer. I think there's nothing better right now than having a uh, double tracers. Unless you're uh, copying one of the tanks that can provide a lot of sustain. Oh, nice dodge of the rock there by Sugar Free. Pulse bomb lobbed. Went a little bit wide, but might be able to have himself another one. Not quite. Only a couple of seconds left. As soon as that fades away, they end up pulling the rush. Time is trying to shift the course now. They still have four old ults in their old bank as well. Vega lays down the sound barrier in a later one. They are, they are investing so forward. many ults for this fight. There's a nice Suzu in the air. Sugar Free clipped wings out of there. Timeless trying to gain control of this fight. Merritt is so low, so can't see himself back into this one. Couldn't receive any heals as all the heals were just getting pumped into someone in the front line. And Timeless end up taking control of that point. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Massive. And everybody pretty much just dumps everything into that fight. And that's going to have someone making a switch, right? Doesn't want to do this Sigma head to head anymore. This is like we're going to be playing hyper aggressive, right? Probably making a play for Sunjun. And you're going to be running here with this Winston Echo. Constantly trying to make a play for that back line, but Rocket with a Pulse Bomb yet again. I mean, Rocket versus Mera right now, who can get the better stick? This could be a decider round as well, or a decider fight. Rocker, oh, gets in the back line, doesn't manage to find anything. Merritt's still patiently holding onto his. Doesn't find an avenue of entrance just yet as the rush comes out from RuPaul. Pushing them forward, there's the stick, goes wide again. Doesn't matter though, that beam going through the uh, the suck there from the Sigma, and that will be the flip. Yeah, they were playing for that Kitsune rush there, letting RuPaul just kind of like farm that up. And then uh, you just kind of, there's really nothing they can do at that point. So, okay, so you, now we're starting to get our first like real kind of like counter, you know, play, pick swapping here. So uh, Icy looks like he will be coming out. Venom, what are you saying? So, this will be good against the Winston and the Echo. Uh, I know a little bit of the, the slow dragging these players. I uh, you know back down to Earth. Here, I'll help you vanish. Really strong if they get control or fight on the point. They really only need one fight here, Matt. But it's going to be a tough one, especially when Sugar Free dupes the Tracer. Oh, and Sunjin's already dead. Okay, reset for Timeless. Quick sharp. Go for the reset. Don't want to mess around. You don't want any of this smoke. Just get out of here. Go for one more, but people dying super late. And yeah, Toronto Defiant know it too. Staggering Icy to his last breath as Toronto guarantee themselves this point. As so we're going on to map point now. Two to two on New Shit. York City. Yeah, I mean, uh, now Ice is going to switch over and play the Queen. So Sorry, chat. I got to come over to help him. Here coming out here for Timeless. As, oh, good skin. Uh, Look, I mean, the, the, the queen, yeah, I mean, the phenomenal skin, uh, but the queen pretty Okay, chat, try 2-2, two, two. last one, bro. So, uh, you could have even played D.Va here, right? Mm -hmm. uh, right. They, even, like, a, a D.Va pick would have been interesting. So, um, th this, though, like, they're going to have to punish someone, right? He's got primal, so it's going to be very difficult to punish here. Yeah, those knives can really halt the monkey's progress, especially if you knife them as they're jumping in. It'll be pretty tough. There's the rush as soon as someone tries to get into that fight. Actually pops the Primal Rage. Doesn't want anything to do with it, of course. He just pops it to survive. Ult trade there, rush for Primal. You take that any day of the week, honestly, if you're Toronto to find. They got a uh, rush of their own, but they did end up losing the point there, man. Yeah, I mean, that is a, a very worth trade if you were Toronto, right? He oh, jumps in, kill. then they end up using a, a rush, and that's going to be a kill. Cross map, Rupa on a rocket. That's huge. Icy boot down to the low ground, too. Sandbar only hits uh, Opener and Icy, and now they're in trouble. That rush and Sandbar, that's a guaranteed fight win, you got to imagine. Toronto still lose Rupa. Shouldn't matter, though, but the flip is here. 41% Toronto to fight here. Have given them a little, they've given themselves a little bit of room to work with, even though they, even if they lose the point. Point. A TP back from RuPaul shouldn't be a uh, shouldn't be too far away, but time to set themselves up for success in this next fight. Forty percent is a. This is this is this is a nail biter chat. This yeah, is this is a nerve wracking game, bro. Fight, it's coming uh, down to the last fucking like fight. 
taking the lead here very shortly. It'll be Rocky getting on the point just to contest, probably just dragging down Merit to try and fight this. It looks like just kind of like a mirror setup on both sides in terms of where these players want to position. Trying to force out Merit's recoil here. Merit, yeah, has to back out. Actually, gets forced there. So now you have to commit someone else, and it is Vega. Shout coming in for Sugar Free. He's the queen now. Trying to run up Icy. Might get a free uh, Rampage. He's careful too. Knife does end up landing. Uh-oh, chat. Uh-oh. This is looking kind of scary. Echo manages to get out alive, but someone not quite so lucky. Rocket with a Pulse Bomb in hand. Toronto to find. Just want to last this, uh, get this fight to 99% and then some if they can. Looks like they're going to be out to... This is the so last one, chat. Last Close one. Enough. I mean, yeah, close enough that it's Timeless really looks like they're going to have their ults before uh, Toronto, though. Really I think nice Timeless wins. I think Timeless sure wins. Really aggressive going on in, and you're able to find that kill onto someone. It's next fight. It's probably what determines the map. I mean, it's a huge fight here. BR Wolf, like pretty sure I have 10 months. Yeah, different approach here from Toronto to fight. Oh, sorry, let me fix it. I think Toronto wins, chat. I think Toronto wins. Come on, Toronto. Come on, Toronto. Waiting for maybe Rocket to recall there. But no, Merit tends up backing off. Doesn't want to go down either. Rocket has got the pulse bump. Come on, Toronto. You guys got this. OT approaching as Toronto to fight. They got a couple of ultimates, but they just need to survive. A rampage from Icy could have ended all, but Toronto to fight just needs to continue to touch. Icy going pretty low, but the Zeus is there to save him. But Sugar Free to always the first one to go down. A rampage onto three. Let's go, Toronto. Let's go, Toronto. Three man sound barrier is going to be all they can really hope for as time is to just have the better beat. A primal race to get back to the point to cause OT to tick up once Timeless. Take us to a map number five. Bro, this is insane, dude. You know what? Fuck it. I think Toronto's going to win it all, chat. I wonder what kind of his game we're going to see. Because we've seen a little bit of Ash, too. I think Ash has been um, pretty decent in terms of uh, meta picks, but Widow oh, Maker been you're gonna have the Widow and you're gonna have the like, Sojourn. The Rocket doesn't play Carol, Widow. Widow? That's weird. Shots, Usually Tracer players play Widow. G, another very very good fear for himself. And yeah. I like the greed with the with the Zen, although you could argue it's not greed on circuit. But Lucio is just still super strong. And um, it looks like Thomas kind of want to do the same thing here, Matt. We'll see what Opener wants to play if he wants to play the Zen or Lucio. Yeah, Genji is like historically been really good on this map right being able to contest high grounds uh being able to close gaps so sunju goes over fires a shot as a uh, looks like we will get a widow head to head last uh, map chat no whoever wins wins is outside of opener playing the brick so a little bit more of a defensive setup wants to protect uh protect cj and protects uh sunjun from sugar free coming in on the genji so that should deter Sugar Free from going on in. You see, that's an immortality field already used there from the Defiant. Yeah, come on, Toronto. Let's win. Let's end up uh, losing opener, though, which is... Let's go, Toronto. Oh, oh, boy. Wow, that was a really quick... Sugar Free did not expect Sunjun to like... go for that repeat. No, and it's like over the shoulder of like a kinetic grasp to look like <laughs> yeah. as well. As right when the deflect runs out, the shot connects. So uh, even though you lose a few players early here for Timeless, this shouldn't move the payload. The analyst opener and so close to spawn anyway. You're losing out on a lot of damage not having the Zen plus the Discord on the Sig is just so frustrating to deal with. Nice little short. Oh no! Mary just killed RuPaul. Oh, Chopper with a perfect deflect. Oh, that is that fucking is insane, dude. I mean, that's point. Like, there is no. Oh, someone's not getting a team dinner after this. You love to see it if you're a timeless enemy. That is no. a sick play. That's rough. I mean, someone Maybe by someone, point. I mean, Merit, That's gonna of be. Ooh, someone, I mean, they just... Joby, appreciate that's in five months. How you doing? There. Goodbye. That's rough. That is huge. Yep. Merit now getting by its team, didn't it? <laughs> Bro, <laughs> timeless you, is uh, cooking. Th those are two fights, right? The first fight, Toronto, they end up getting first blood, right? They get opener. Uh, and then it's just a six shot from uh, Sunjun. And then the next one, uh, Merit going to land the shot, gets deflected oh. into RuPaul. Uh, and those are, that's, that's the only two fights in first point. Yep, that's dumb. Uh, I mean, you, you didn't even really have to do that much for timeless, right? I mean, yeah, you literally did that. You hit reflect. Like, that was <laughs> You hit reflect and won the point. That is uh, ridiculous. And a widow shot. A widow shot and a deflect, yeah, pretty much, right. was what. One did have taken it there. Confidence shocked a little bit. If you're trying to fight, you'd imagine. Flux. 
Oh, that rock dodged out perfectly. Nice follow-up, too. You see Sugar Free taking to the skies. Vega just cleaning up. That is a late rally. Another deflect kill from Chopper, uh, though. You're feeling pretty good. But yeah, Vega is still on a tear. I yeah. The difference Ooh. there from the Zen and the Brig. Really. I don't know, man. Up. That was a very late rally from opener. I need someone with just a, a sick play though, right? I mean, the Flux dodging the accretion, then landing an accretion of his own. I mean, uh, just, you know, making it look easy there on Sigma, but... Oh, nice sights. Oh, that was here. cheeky. No one can hide. All right, later walls really like uh, it. Merit will pop his as well. Just waiting for the grapple shots. Yeah, and seeing the Venomine. Don't want to get uh, caught out by that. Blade for Sugar Free. Dashes straight to the back line. Oh, nice movement. Just force out the lamp and isolates Icy 2. As uh, all the healers were cowering in front of Sugar Free. Notice how he said healers, right, chat. All the, the healers. Will, uh, make their claim. Three minutes to go now. Yeah, I mean, you have, uh, you have Transcendence here. So you have it for either the Blade or the Flux, right? Uh, and then you also uh, have the amp matrix. So, uh, see how they decide to layer these. Is uh, Chopper's got to try and get in position, maybe get a blade off. Uh, I think it's probably. I mean, it's easier to probably maybe get the flux and then you know get one of those ultimates out and then blade on the land. But we'll see. Someone gets quite low. Lamp available. Lamp very nicely placed too, right on the edge, making sure it can't get insta destroyed either. RuPaul is fucking disgusting, yeah, it man. It actually lets Timeless get back up into this position, though, right? Like, they would not have been able to get back here. There's a high ground. Oh, but Sugar Free in the back line. Yeah. <laughs> he just, he, he pretty much just dashed through him, jumped over him, kind it's of like deal. It's the kill. Yeah. Nice little kill, though, from Chopper. Trying to settle the score. Play coming out from Chopper. He's looking to the skies. Nice rock onto someone. Icy just knocks him straight out of the skies, cancels the flux. And that the was fight. disgusting, dude. Happened. Yeah, uh, uh, Sundran off the spawn, right? Uh, he ends up falling at the hands of Sugar Free, but then gets a respawn and actually from the spawn actually able to just shoot someone in the back. It's, I don't. Are you going to be able to contain this? God touch, here? but Toronto. Transcendence from Vegas is going to have to be the thing that uh, sticks them on here. And uh, the problem is, Open has got the rally. That overheld is building for everybody. Sugar Free's close to the blade. She gets sniped by Sunjin through the window. I mean, there's no shot. Yeah, I'm gonna be honest back. with you, Timeless Caps. I mean, someone's just getting bullied. There you go. No need to call the cyber police. And uh, that will be point B. Yeah, and with how volatile we see Circuit, right? Like, <laughs> anything here. Uh, you know what I'm gonna do at the stream? Awesome. I'm gonna fucking Enjoy shave, bro. Right? I need to shave. Around that final corner, I think. Like getting it around that corner and then getting it down that home stretch, like even if it's not a full map completion, getting it close is a huge win, feels like. Where you have Infersight here, but probably just kind of counter each other, right? You know, Mera yeah. popped his, Sunjin will pop his as well. Exactly that. Shave your back too. Brother, to, I'm uh, blonde. You can't see my hair. That's the one good thing about being yeah, blonde. So can't see my sites. hair, bro. Oh, even on my legs. Can't see my hair, bro. So. Decent positioning, though. From Toronto to fine. Mm. Quick deflect as Chopper ends up going down. Icy made the cross as well, Matt, and he is alone currently. Still in the LOS, or should, would have been a moment ago. Should be an easy kill. Was open a, a <laughs> I can't see the hair on your head oh, either. CJ. Oh my word. What a shot I'm about to show you the hair on my fucking right, ass in a second if you keep talking nails. like that. I love it. But, so, uh, a minute 44 to go here, right? Uh, what, you have Phalox inside here? No support ultimate? Like, uh, when Sugar Wait, Free is my dad blades, still streaming? Like dad, it was a joke. I'm sorry, Dad. They have that transcendence. I mean, you can rally, but like also there's still a, a threat of death here. Is someone placed quite close to the door here? Tries to put some pressure and split them from even the getting Ooh. in. Goodbye. Nice headshot. Huge headshot. Dragon Blade pulled from <laughs> Sugar Free. I mean, Blade isn't what it used to be. I'll tell you that right now. Ooh. Okay, do not die to the Widow Challenge. We've already got one kill in the Sigma. Love his positioning for RuPaul too, but still has to back off. Doesn't want to get checked there by Sunjin. And how do you win this if you're timeless, right? I mean, you're looking at obviously a widow shot kind of, you know, wins you a, a point, so to speak, at times, right? Uh, but other than that, I mean, you, you can have a blade you can send up there, right? To the high ground as uh, they are getting some payload progress at the moment. Shot there, that's going to be deflect out from Sugar Free. 
Flux isn't really going to do all too much apart from Ascend Icy to high ground, but Icy is super low. Just constantly getting bullied out, Matt. Again, I'm doing all right. How, how about yourself, Alicia? The Zen, the Discord is just so strong. With 20 seconds to go, the Flux, it doesn't even need to drop him back down. Sanji just dies on the uh, on the upward draft. Icy falls. I mean, this rally is just way too late here. 15 seconds. I'm going to be honest with you. That's still a good push. That's still a good push, chat. Ends. There is the place. Oh, my God. Someone, someone just punches his lights clean out. Doomfist, but against the Sigma and against all the damage, there's no chance. Toronto Jesus. Defiance. The Curly oh, Crusader. Appreciate it. That's about four spurs, months. A uh, couple of points there. They do manage to hold just on that last final stretch. Although, being Circuit Royale, really That's still a good push, way. chat. That's still uh, a good push. A fickle map to finish. They were also never able to punish the Zen. Right? Like, Veya was able to kind of sit in the back and, you know, just put down some damage, you know, get the Discord orbs right. Uh, they were never able to kind of, like, put loads of pressure on that back line, maybe get, like, a immortality field out early, right? It felt, like, pretty comfortable there from Toronto Defiant. Uh, I think if you were looking at positives from uh, Timeless, right? Uh, you did get the payload, like, around that second corner, you know, not really deep down that hallway, but you, you did get it, you know, into the hallway, right? Uh, so, could be pretty difficult to do, uh, you know, get that far. See what Toronto cooks here on offense, as uh, Timeless will be on D, it looks like right now. Uh, potentially a pretty similar comp, don't know if you'll see the Lucio on defense. Yeah, uh, they, they'll gonna actually run the Lucio here, it looks hopping like. Hopping around, looks like they're still deciding what they want to run yeah i mean i would love you to see like open is not a zen player traditionally more of a lucio brig kind of like classic he main support kind of picks although brig was kind of picked up by everybody to be fair looks like it's gonna be lucio okay uh i don't know brig marvelous i could time you out for 10 minutes um, to see if you want offense, or a minute like. or two so just the lucio just having the ability to kite is really nice but Looks like Toronto Defiant gonna kind of run the same thing in terms of Lucio, but I actually don't it's know. It's gonna be a Ram instead, so they're very willing to just run into Timeless right now. Completely shift this one up. Yeah, and they're not gonna run that Widow as well as uh, Chopper gets that first pick. So, oh, nice uh, kill. Toronto wants to run. Uh, nice real shot. Uh, okay, I got you, but it's only gonna like be for ten minutes. Pretty like brawly, like mid range style of comp, right? Where you get kind of someone in the mix brawling out, put a lot of pressure onto Icy. Yeah, extremely unconventional map to say the very least. Lamp's already been used, and yeah, the brawl is just so mm. good against Sig. Oh, Damn. Close light. Yo, Toronto ain't here, messing around, well. bro. Yeah, the brawl into the Sigma. If you're playing that far up and Icy switching over, it's like, okay, you're playing brawl, we play brawl too. Like, we have the Lucio player, so we might as well. Um, this is actually working in their favor somewhat because they were losing out versus the Zen, especially on that third point. So, you're playing Lucio with a Ram, we'll play Lucio with a Ram. That's fine by us. And no more Widows, Matt, either. Just uh, Sojin versus Sojin. So. Yeah, it's, it's going to somewhat like reset the ultimate, uh, you know, of Icy and. Right. Uh, Sunjin with the switches, but still, I, I think you would have been a little bit of a disadvantage, right? Playing that Widow, playing that Sigma here, uh, where you can put your Romatra toe to toe against somebody. Sugar Free just trying to build up that blade as quick as possible. It's actually Merit that's closer to ultimate. Twenty percent towards that overclock. Oh, 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 Icy almost got one shot through that window. I mean, I don't think Icy's long for this world, especially at this angle that Merit's got so low. Sound barrier from Open is just a little too late. Bro, this is a good hole by Timeless, though. Merit has got the perfect line of sights onto the back line, so they end up scattering. Still a deflection available for Chopper. There's still some trade. Damn, he missed a lot of shots there. Picks up Sugar Free. No more deflect as Merit is just taking that into full effect as he basically runs into them. But the blade has been pulled. 80 HP has to go for the back line. Lands one slash, lands another one. Oh! Gets to reset, but Merit is there to find the kill eventually. A nice little Lucio play there from Opener jumping over the head of Merit. Boosted I've seen someone in Necros' chat named J3's Thomas mod suck. Uh, my mods are living in that guy's points. head run free then. I count my that's a W. Respawn advantage is so good for time. That's a that right? was a yeah, fucking insane old in. dude. It seemed like Opener and Chopper able to live forever. Uh, here's a huge fight though. Someone with uh, the annihilation and then Sugar Free getting close to a blade here. Uh, if you can withhold this, we're down to a minute. It's almost a surely they can't do it, but Sunjin does have that railgun in five percent that overclock. 
could lead to a win if he just snipes someone out. Snipes RuPaul out, snipes Sugar Freeze. He's sailing through the air, right? Anything's possible with, the, with an overclock, that is for oh. sure. Looks like they're going to try and make their push in. advantage here for Timeless. Sunjin's going to pop it, has to get back. Power slides away, Blade has been pulled. Annihilation on the point, but where are the kills? There's one onto IC. Sunjin tries to make it even, though, as the beat comes through. Dives oh, into the back no. Driver. The Annihilation just too strong, even against that sound barrier. Just ticks everybody, their health bars, that overhealth just fading away in almost an instant as Toronto Defiant cap the point. Three minutes to go now as they are sent onto that the hill. I mean, I think that's still a really good fucking yeah, first hold. Yeah, he's dump some ultimates in there for Timeless, get Toronto to just invest as well as uh, you hold them to, you know, 20 or so seconds. So I think what you're talking about for Timeless here is like, can we win two fights? Two fights gets you to about what? Probably like 40 seconds, 30 seconds or so on the clock uh, going towards this high ground. And then if you lose there, like let's call it OT, uh, they, they have a minute or so there at the end. That's where you feel pretty good if you're timeless. Oh, but look how fast he's punching. <laughs> Doesn't matter though. Oh my God. Doesn't matter. That window juice used to full effect. Sound barrier invested from Toronto to fight. Not confident in their ability to finish this fight. CJ ends up taking care of Merit. They're still getting that payload going. Even Sunjun coming back at the very end there to get come the on, final Come on, come on, come on, bro. I mean, come timeless, on, sorry. Timeless. They're you guys really did not come all the way over here to choke. Really you did to, uh, not come this far to choke, bro. To this chopper blade. Yeah, that, that's what you need to do here, Timeless. You're like, okay, we, we got a lot of ultimates out. We need to make sure we get a contest here and then get Chopper back with this blade. Put him in position, but a lot of damage comes out early. That disruptor yeah, shot was a lot of this up. massive from oh. Merit. Disruptor shot is just the cherry on top as he just takes the high ground with the overclock. That looks so winnable there for Timeless, Matt. You're right. They just run over them. They had to just walk through all of that damage. They couldn't heal it up quick enough. And especially with the DPS passive as well, uh, so much less heals Chat. for the team. And Toronto Defiant, uh, clearly extremely... Chat, I'm scared. I think Toronto Defiant wins. They are determined to make it I think Toronto Defiant wins this chat. Three. Yeah, I mean, huge advantage here because now Sugar Free has a blade, right? So blades here for both sides, no sound barriers available. And someone, though, has that annihilation, right? So if Chopper goes in, tries to make a play, you can have someone actually just pop that annihilation, just get all that ticking down on the Genji. Be difficult to keep Chopper up. Oh, Sugar Free already dead, though. That, all right, Matt, you needed something like that. Oh, yeah. Timeless. You need to just reset the tempo, right? But someone <laughs> determined just forces his way in there. Okay. Annihilation should run out in just a moment. But look who they've isolated. It's Icy on the sidelines. And this overclock from Sunjin or the Chopper Blade's going to have to come out ASAP. They cannot lose too much ground here, Matt. But it's just almost an inevitability. No, man. So. Time is resetting. Four ults in the I think this is a GG's, bro. That final corner. Yeah, you absolutely couldn't invest in the blade. You would have been in that horrible scenario. Sound barrier connects with just both Open is dead. Open is dead. Open it die. Sound barrier out. It didn't mean anything. A sound barrier from Toronto to find as they push on. Yeah, GG chat. Up falling over Toronto to find it. Just making this a speed run. It's timeless. They're going to be able to pull the blade short. But where's the 0.01? 0 0.01. 0 0.01 .01 meters in Toronto to find. They take us all the way to a map number five. And they finish it out. Timeless with a valiant effort on defense were nothing in the comparison to the Kings. Toronto Defiant, my word, they made that uh, they made that personal defense. Timeless would have had a 1 to 5 ball return ball. ratio, bro. Yeah, I mean, Holy shit. Okay, friends, YouTube thinks you might like this next video, so let me know if they're right.